All right, as we turn back to weather here this morning, hopefully you're feeling a little bit more rested after that extra hour of sleep we got on Sunday morning. But uh, even though the sun rises a little bit earlier, the sunset is too. So how much daylight are we losing? Let's bring in meteorologist Maria Ruiz to talk about that. Yeah, we have been seeing shorter and shorter days for the past a few weeks, but it's only going to continue at least until the winter solstice right now or today, we're going to see about 10 hours and 43 minutes of daylight. Sunrise happens before seven now, and the sunset is at 532. But even by the uh, beginning of December, we'll be down to about 10 hours and eight minutes worth of daylight. The winter solstice this year is on December 21st. By then, we'll see just under 10 hours of daylight with sun setting at around 526, but it quickly bounces back the other way with 10 hours and 35 minutes worth of daylight by the time at the end of January rolls around. And this is why it all happens. The northern hemisphere, the hemisphere that we live in, is actually pointing away from the sun this time of the year. So the sun is then directly over the southern hemisphere. Uh, we are going to see that eventually the sun will be directly over the Tropic of Capricorn, and that'll be on the winter solstice. That is when we have our shortest day of the year. After that happens, the sun will slowly start to be directly over the equator eventually, and that happens in the spring, and then eventually shifts into the northern hemisphere when the northern hemisphere is then pointed towards the sun. It all has to do with this, the earth being tilted and us, of course, revolving around the sun, Mark. Good information and people need that reminder every year, Mario.